While neighbors, the Henderson household is buzzing with vacation excitement this week, Alice, Harry, and Donnie are leaving July 1st for an auto trip to Mexico. And Jewel is going to spend two weeks up at Sweet Air Lodge. That's why she's so happy these days. Yeah, I'm tickled silly. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Why, Beulah, what's wrong? I thought your boyfriend Bill was going to be the lifeguard up at Sweet Air, and that's why you wanted to go. Yes, sir, but I can't get reservations. They're all filled. Oh, no wonder you're upset. Say, if Bill is the lifeguard there, he'll be surrounded by women all day long. And that's what I don't like, Mr. Miller. If Bill warms up to another girl this summer, I'm going to be in for a mighty cold winter. <laughs> oh, excuse me, Mr. Miller. There's Bill now. It's Bill, baby, the great big handsome dressing on your salad of love. <laughs> well, just be careful, dressing, and stay away from those other tomatoes. <laughs> now, look, baby, you got to learn to trust me. you got to have faith in a man, especially after we get married. Well, what do you mean, Bill? Well, uh, just suppose I happen to come home one night with some lipstick on my collar or something. Would you ask me a lot of questions? No, I don't think so, Bill. You wouldn't even ask one question? No. Nope. What good would it do? What do you mean, what good would it do? Well, how could you answer if I'd hit you on the head with that baseball bat? <laughs> well, baby, you've got to get over being so suspicious. I do, huh? Yeah, I love you, honey, and I don't care about no other good. Well, it's not that I don't trust you, Bill. It's just that there's going to be lots of girls at the lodge, and some of them are allowed to be real beautiful. Oh, but they won't be as beautiful as you, baby. Oh, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you mean you still love me as much as you did when we first met eight years ago? Baby, with every passing year, I love you more. Really? Sure, because with every passing year, there's more of you for me to love. <laughs> <laughs> Say, what am I laughing at? <laughs> now, you just stop worrying, honey. Besides, I bet there ain't no single woman up there at all. Just a bunch of old men. Yeah, I guess you're right, Bill. Yeah. Oh, excuse me, there's someone at the door. Oh, hello, my dear sweet cousin, Bill. Oh, hello, Freddy. Hi there, Freddy. Bill, say, you're just the man I'm looking for. No. Yeah, I just got the latest report from Sweet Air Lodge. The odds are now 35 to 1. Oh, uh, is that so, Freddy? Yeah! Uh, <laughs> Freddy, what odds are 35 to 1? Well, there's 35 single women up there for every man. What? <laughs> man, we, we really going to have ourselves a time, Bill. Freddy. Boy, I wish I was an octopus so I could hug four of them at once. Well, so on, <laughs> Freddy. See you later. Uh, Bill Jackson, you said there was just old men up there. Now, look, baby, look. There might be some single girls up there, but there's nothing to worry about. Even older than these men I was talking about. Ain't that right, Freddy? Huh? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I get you, I get you. Uh, Cousin Bueller, those gals are just a bunch of old gray men. Now, you hear that, baby? You hear that? Those gals are just a bunch of old gray men. Well, even if they are, I'll be worried anyway. There's many an old gray man that still likes to go for a gallop. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, me, there's oil. Oh, take it easy, woman. I'm coming. Good. Hi, Beulah, honey. Oh, hello, Oreo. Say, honey, we just got to go to the movies tonight. If I come by 8 o'clock, will you be ready? Oreo, I'm in no mood for movies. Well, honey, we just got to go tonight. They got a picture open and call the man. So what? Well, maybe they're giving away free samples. <laughs> Look, Oreo. I got my own men problems right now. Bill is going to be the lifeguard of the Sweet Air Lodge, and from what I hear, the place is swarming with single women. Oh, that's too bad, honey, because single women are nothing but a bunch of vicious, wild, man chasing people, aren't we, Beulah? <laughs> well, the worst thing of all is that Bill is going to be the lifeguard, and you know how women act with lifeguards. Oh, it's this great stuff. Yeah. You know, I'll never forget last year. There was one girl who just wouldn't let that poor lifeguard alone. She chased him around every single minute. Mm. In fact, she even tried to find him in the men's locker room. 
Well, how could anyone do anything so stupid? Ease out and see the sign. <laughs> well, I just wish there was some way we could get reservations at Sweet Air so I could keep an eye on Bill. Yeah, that way you'd know he's safe. Uh-huh. But they're all filled and I'm just... Hey, I just thought of something, honey. What? I know a girl who has reservations for next week and she couldn't get a vacation, so she might go. Really, Oil? Yeah. yeah. And she's a real good friend of mine, so I'm sure she'll give us a reservation. Oh, that's wonderful. You know, we're as good as on our way. Oil, you finally used your brain. Oh, well, I kept it brand new as long as I could. <laughs> Uh, would you care for another enchilada, folks? Oh, yes, please. Mm -hmm. They're delicious. Oh, they're wonderful. And yet, uh, this was a great idea, serving Mexican food all week so we'd be accustomed to it for our trip to Mexico. Yeah, I hope it hasn't been too much trouble for you, Julio, preparing all this Mexican food. Oh, it's no trouble at all to make Mexican food, Miss Alice. <laughs> you just get the formula for dynamite and add rice and onions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's... Uh, it is pretty hot stuff, all right. I see. I was considering setting the table with knives and forks and fire extinguishers. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's delicious anyway. And just what we need before our trip to Mexico. Say, how are you folks getting along with your Spanish? So fine. Just fine and dandy. I mean, uh, bueno. Bueno. <laughs> <laughs> That's better, senorita. <laughs> <laughs> well, Spanish is really a beautiful language. But I must say kind of tricky to learn. I'll bet it is. Oh, no, now, it isn't really as confusing as it sounds, Beulah. In fact, uh, we've learned quite a bit with those new conversational books they're putting out. Yes, they tell you all the things you need to know when you're in Mexico. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Tell you how to order a meal, how to get a taxi, how to get a hotel room. Say, if they've got a chapter on how to get a husband, I'll study Spanish, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Beulah. I'd like to learn that in any language. <laughs> well, say, Beulah, speaking of marriage, is there anything new on your reservations up at that lodge where Bill's going to be lifeguard? Oh, there sure is, Mr. Harris. Oh. That's why I've been so happy today. My girlfriend, Oriole, is getting us reservations from a friend of hers, and we're going up to Sweet Air Lodge so I can be near Bill. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful, Beulah. Oh, there's Oreo now. I guess you've got the reservation. Excuse me, folks. I mean, Hassel or Carmen Miranda, senor. <laughs> oh, I'm coming, Oreo. Hi, honey. Uh, well, did you get the reservation? Yep. I said I'd get them, and I did. <laughs> yeah, we're going there instead of my girlfriend. Oh, Oreo, I'm so happy I could kiss you. Well, thanks, honey, but you're not my type. <laughs> Now I don't have to worry about my bill. Yeah, that's right, honey. <laughs> Those women don't dare try to get near my dream boat when you've got a battleship escort like me. Oh, yeah. You know, it's starting to work clever of me to think of this. Uh, have you got all the information about the reservation, uh, reservations, Oreo? Uh-huh. My girlfriend wrote everything down on a piece of paper. The room number and all. Here's the paper, Beulah. Oh, this is wonderful. Reservations for July the 1st, room number 206, Indian Head Springs Hotel. Indian Head Springs Hotel? Indian Head Springs? <laughs> Ain't that where we go? <laughs> We're going to Sweet Air Lodge. Oh, that's right. Oh, well. Well, it's a perfectly natural mistake, Bueller. Natural mistake? Yeah. How could anyone mix up Sweet Air Lodge with the Indian Head Springs Hotel? Well, you see, honey, the word sweet made me think of sugar, and sugar made me think of horses, and horses made me think of cowboys, and cowboys remind me of Indians. <laughs> that's how I thought of Indian Head Springs Hotel. <laughs> oh, yeah. Huh? The word sweet reminds me of sugar, too. It does? Yeah, and sugar reminds me of horses, and horses remind me of you. <laughs> me? How come? Because a horse is the nearest thing I can think of to a jackass. That's how quick! <laughs> Looks 
fact, there's no way for me to get up to Sweet Ann Lodgewood's door. There's only one thing I can think of now, and that's to give Bill a pair of sunglasses made out of magnifying glass, so all the girls up there will look twice as big as me. Thank <laughs> you.